As you can see, I've done some work on the old um, scooter charger. It's all wired now, plumbed in. Just testing the electrics. Um, I want to do a test run. Come across a few issues. First of all, let's start the solenoid. It's clicking away. I'm not getting power from there to there. Um, starting about to turn though. Um, these contacts are quite badly corroded, so I think it's probably just rusted out inside. So I got get a new one of those. You might actually have one at me in my stash somewhere. And also, the float bolt on the carb is leaking. Um, I must admit, I've cleaned this out, but where the bike was sat in the woods for so long, um, I think I'm just going to replace the carb. Um, the idle jet um, so like the little passageways and circuits inside this are so small they're very hard to clean and unblock so I think for nine quid you can get a complete new carb uh, which have all new gaskets and seals and theoretically it should be completely clean inside so I should sort that out um, the only other thing is this power switch has got a, a light inside it and I wasn't quite sure how well how the connections on the back were wired. So one of them's got to be an earth, one's got to be the positive in, one's got to be the kind of the feed out to the circuits. And it popped the fuse because I have them back for front. So I can fire it up, running it on some spray, and with that jump it out. And um, just so you can hear it run for a few seconds. So, I've got the jumper back of shame connected up, and it's going to be connecting the positive lead straight to the um, terminal on the starter motor. And I won't need to do the handlebar switch, and I've got some GT85 sprayed in the carb. So, as you can see, it wants to go. Um, take out the stand. Uh, it just needs a new carb and a new starter solenoid and a fuse. Um, uh, this is the culprit here. I used a waterproof one that uses the mini fuses, and all I've got is the bigger fuses. So, hence I've bypassed it for now. Um, up here is the CDI unit, regulator rectifier and coil. And up top there is digital display, it's tachometer, speedometer, odometer, there's also a connection for um, fuel gauge. Um, I may try and repurpose that for oil pressure depending on if I can calibrate it. Um, but the GY6 engine doesn't come with an oil pressure switch so I have to find somewhere to fit one. Um, that might not happen, it's just an idea. Um, so far I'm quite pleased with it. boost gauge. Um, if I actually generate any boost, uh, it'd be nice to know if I am. If 
but uh, so far so good. So hopefully I can order those parts up the next few days and um, get this thing running. Thanks for watching.